Hi, this is Kristen from Kiwi Box, and we're going to learn all about the new Metal Gear Solid 4. So uh, why don't you tell us about, I mean, Snake, Solid Snake is obviously one of like, one of the most like badass dudes in video games. So tell us what, what's the story with him in this game? Sure. Uh, the story for Metal Gear Solid 4 is basically Solid Snake's final mission. A lot of people have played uh, as Solid Snake in the original Metal Gear on, on the original PlayStation. That was 10 years ago, and a lot has changed since then, um, not only for, for Solid Snake, but the hardware itself. You know, we're on PlayStation 3, and we think that, you know, we're We've got like the, the hot title for PlayStation 3 going into 2008. But as far as the story is concerned, it's the last chapter. He's looking pretty old. He's looking pretty decrepit. And, uh, <laughs> and th we're promising this is actually the final, final chapter in his life and in, in his story. Cool. So what does the PlayStation 3 bring to this game? Like what, what kind of crazy new things can we expect to see here? Yeah, there's a number of, of cool things that we're, that we're doing using that, that next-gen hardware. Um, for example, uh, you might notice that Solid Snake has got this new suit. It's what we call an octo camo suit. And octo uh, is, is re reference to like an octopus, which some octopuses actually have this ability to press themselves up against the texture. And then that, that color, it's like a chameleon almost, mm -hmm. that that color represents represent itself on, on, its out, and on, on its outer skin. So similarly on, in Metal Gear, uh, Snake can press up against the wall or press up against the floor. And whatever texture he's up against, that's going to represent itself onto the octo camo suit. And so in that sense, it's, it's very next gen as far as hardware is concerned. We couldn't do that you know, five years ago or three years ago even. So in that sense, it's very next gen in hardware and also for gameplay because it's, it's a cool new gameplay gimmick as well. Cool, cool. And how is it like really different from the previous Metal Gear games? Well, for one thing, we've, we've been totally reworking the controls. So here at e for all we have a briefing room that we're, um, everybody's lining up and then they go into this five minute briefing room where we give them a briefing on the new control scheme. Uh, because up until now, Metal Gear has always had great graphics and great sound and, and great story, but it's never had that great feel good gameplay and the feel good controls, so which is why um, yeah, we're, we're ushering people into this briefing room where we give them a, an idea of this is how, the, how things have changed. It actually feels like a good, like solid action game. So in that sense, that's, uh, that's something that we're really, really excited. We're pulling lots of influence from other Western developed games. Uh, like. Well, I don't want to mention any games, but uh, we, we play pretty much everything. And, uh, and so it doesn't feel like it's a game just made in Japan and then just sold in America. You know what I mean? Is there any like single like one thing that like you would want people to know about this game that's just like so cool that like you want everyone to know? Or is it just like a, like, a little bit of everything like that's yeah. great about this? Uh, yeah, obviously, I th I'd like to say it's a little bit of everything. <laughs> but if I had to point in one thing in one direction, it's that if, if there's gamers out there that are kind of st tired of stealth games, which I was at that point um, before I entered the studio, I was really tired of stealth games. It's, it, we, you know, most games give you great lots of guns, lots of guns to play with. They give you rocket launchers and sniper rifles and AK-47s, but you can never use them because if you use them, it's too loud and all the enemies will come at you and kill you. So that's always been the crutch of, of stealth games. So we're fixing that with MGS4. Um, in the beginning of the game, it's stealth. You have to be quiet and you have to sneak into this behind the enemy lines. But once you get there, there's, you're into a battlefield where there's two enemies, two armies going at it at once. And that allows you an opportunity to actually open up. It doesn't matter if you're allowed. So you can use that rocket launcher, that sniper rifle, or that AK-47 and really open up. Then we take you back to a sneaking section. So it's that kind of wave gameplay that is really next gen. It's really um, unique for Metal Gear and I think people are going to be very uh, receptive to it. Awesome, awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, Metal Gear Online? Sure. Yeah, so Metal Gear Online, uh, we're, we're still working on how we're going to release that, but that's on PlayStation 3. Uh, we have a totally different team who's working on the Metal Gear Online aspect. Um, it's all multiplayer based, obviously, and we're hoping to have some kind of like a starter pack or a teaser in MGS4 when it ships early next year. And Metal Gear Online is, uh, is more of a team-based uh, online experience, where, whereas in you might notice the like, games that came out this year, they'll have a single player mode and then kind of a half-assed online mode where you're just killing people, right? And just racking up that kill count. We want to do something different where we have a totally different team working on the game and it's more team-based. So you can link up with your team members. You can see where they are across the map. You can see them in this wireframe. You can share information. You can share, share different skills that you have. You can level up. So we're integrating some elements kind of like MMO style. It's a totally different online experience, which makes us pretty excited about what we're doing, and we think that people are going to be pretty receptive to it. Great. And when did you say that comes out? We're aiming for early 2008 release. You know, we, we barely miss Christmas, and so <laughs> we're going to be working through the Christmas hours, and I hope I can get home and see the fam, <laughs> but I, I have a bad feeling I'm going to be at the office finishing up uh, MGS4. But, um, you know, but we're, we're confident. I think we're going to take over 2008, you know. Uh, this is, I think it really is the leading, like, the killer app that the PlayStation 3 needs, and we're pretty excited about making it. Awesome. Well, good luck, even though I'm sure you won't need it, and thanks a lot for your time. <laughs> thanks.